Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So today we are going to start uh, the interview series for ReactJS. So this is part two. So thank you for appreciating part one too much. Okay. So if you are preparing for a front end developer or a full stack developer, then these are the questions you must be knowing because uh, nowadays like uh, ReactJS or Angular, these are the two things which every uh, company is looking for in terms of front end technology. Okay. So let's go straight into the questions and see the first question. So our first question says, what is the use of key in React list? Okay. So let's see the answer. So key help React identify which items have changed, added or removed. So mostly key will be used when you are dealing with the list inside a React JS. Okay. So let's uh, take one example. So here we have declared our numbers from one to five. Okay. And now what we are doing is we are printing those numbers. Okay. Using the map function. Okay. So uh, Key is something which you can apply on index. Okay, so be it's like a list of a string or list of integer, you can always apply the uh, key on index. Okay, so this is how uh, you can apply the key right here. And we are printing this number here, and then we are returning this updated numbers, this term here. So this is how your output will look like. Okay, let's go to the second question. So it says, what are the higher order components inside a React JS? Okay. So higher order component is an advanced technique in React for reusing the component logic. Okay. So one of the example of HOC is Redux. Okay. So uh, we'll make one detailed video on Redux. So if you talk about the benefits of uh, HOC, okay, then it is easier to handle. No need to copy the same logic in every component because we are talking about the component reusability. Okay, so you can write a code and you can reuse it uh, for a multiple number of components. Okay, let's see one example here. So this is your uh, HOC component. Okay, uh, so here what we are doing is okay, we are passing the wrapped component okay so you will be passing one component okay for which you want to use the logic okay so see here we have declared one component called app component and what we are doing here is we are printing two statements here okay now we are calling this hoc component and we are passing this app okay so when you call this hoc component the control will go inside the hoc component and uh, it will have the app component okay and then since we are calling this uh, wrapped component here, right? So in place of wrapped component, what it will take, it, it's dynamic. So whatever the component you will pass here, okay? The same thing is going to be used here, okay? So it will print, this is a HOC component and then these two things, okay? Let's go to the next question. It says, what is a strict mode in react.js, okay? So react.strict mode is a helper functionality provided by react which allow us to write better react code, okay? So it will always uh, like uh, check for the potential problem inside an application, okay? So if you can say this, so uh, one more important thing is uh, if you are passing several components inside div, okay? then only those components will be covered inside react strict mode which you are passing inside this strict mode bracket okay so uh, we have used four components here this quiz component order component update post api component and try anything these are the four components but only these two components are going to be protected with the help of react.strict mode these two are not going to be protected the first and fourth one so this is what the use of a strict mode let's go to the next question it says what is PO component okay so a react component is considered to be pure if it renders the same output for the same state and same props okay if we extend a class with PO component there is no need for should component update lifecycle method okay in my previous uh, session we discussed about all the lifecycle methods right so in update section we had two methods right two update methods so out of which the first one was should component update method so it always check for the component whether component should be updated or not okay so that is in case react dot component okay so when you are extending your class component with the help of react dot component then that lifecycle method has to be checked always but if you are using react dot po component okay then this method should be avoided okay so there is no need for this method this lifecycle method okay react js pure component class compares current state and props with the new props and state okay to decide whether the react component should be re-rendered itself or not okay so if both the state and props are same then it's not going to re-render okay let's go to the next question 
it says how to make git api call in react component okay so uh, i'm going to make one detailed video on how you can uh, create api how you can uh, use the react js application to call those api endpoints and uh, display inside your uh, react js application okay so let's see how to call the gate api call in react js okay so there are multiple ways we can call the api endpoint inside a react js application okay so there are some external libraries like uh, so if if you are using hooks then you have use effect hook okay so there also you can call it using a sync you can call it uh using axios library you can call it okay so i'm, I'm just going to show you an uh, basic example how you can call the react js so i'm going to show you an basic example how you can call the api endpoints inside your react.js application okay so see uh i do have one api endpoints okay with the name the name of the api is gate order details okay so we do have one employee controller and inside this employee controller we do have gate order details method okay now what we are doing here is we are calling this api okay with the help of fetch okay so this is how you can pass the api endpoints okay and i was getting the proxy error right so it's not proxy error actually i was getting the course issue okay so what i did to resolve it is i use the proxy settings okay so i moved the url or the endpoint of the api to the proxy setting of uh, so you do have package.json class inside your react.js application right so there you can use this proxy keyword and you can pass the endpoint here okay and uh, inside fetch you can simply start from api slash uh, till your api name okay and then what we are doing here is this is a promise okay dot then is a promise so we are destructuring the result so whatever the result we are going to get from this api call okay we are going to set it to the employee so you must have heard about uh, the huge state hook okay so by using the huge state hook i'm uh, setting all the employees result okay so we do have one employee variable okay so with the help of set employee we are setting the result into the employee okay so if you see this uh, so this is the place where we are using our result so as of now we do have details in the employee okay now we are using the map function we are using the key and we are getting all the details of the employee okay and we are going to load it to the ui okay so this is how you can use the uh, gate api inside a react js okay let's go to the next question it says how to make post api calls in react components it is just the extended uh, question from the previous one okay this this is something uh, you can see uh, we already have discussed right as part of git now this is something we need to discuss as part of post okay so in post what happened uh, uh, see how how we have done it okay so basically post is something where you will have some information you want to post it to api okay so let's say you have order id you have product name you have quantity you have address okay so these are the details you are getting from the form okay now you want to update the api okay you want to update the database by calling this api okay so this is your api name api slash employee slash add order details okay similar to the previous one we already have uh, uh, discussed that we are using uh, proxy there okay so uh, your api endpoint is uh, going to be there inside a package.json class okay so this is how we are we are like uh, deriving our uh, stuff for the post api okay so we have declared constant options and inside this we do have a method we do have headers okay so inside the headers you have accept and content type okay and then we do have a body okay so inside this body we are passing this order info okay in a json format okay so that is the reason we have used json dot stringify and then we are passing this order info okay and then inside this fetch apart from your api url you are going to pass this options whatever we have derived here okay and then uh, we are going to use this uh, promise okay so here what we are doing is uh, we are checking if result is there if res is there i mean uh, if res is true okay then we are going to set this message to uh, order is created successfully okay so this is how you can use the post api call inside a react js okay let's go to the next question it says uh, explain react hooks okay so as you all know like uh, we do have two types of component inside a react js the one is class component another is a functional component okay so we do have all kinds of uh, life cycle methods inside class component because it's as well as uh, it, it maintain the state as well because it, it is a stateful component but when it comes to the functional component right so it was or it is a uh, 
a stateless component okay so how to maintain the state how to maintain the life cycle methods and all right so for that reason we do have uh, introduced the react hooks okay so it allow you to use a state and other react features without using or without writing a class okay so it is talking about the class component okay it is available inside functional component or a stateless component that i already told you so these are the type of hooks okay so uh, you may need to go through the details of all these hooks because interviewer uh, may ask you about use state use effect use reducer and use memo so, so these are the four main important hooks that interviewer uh, may ask you okay so let's go to the next question it says what is reps okay so let's let's see the answer so reps is the sort and use for the reference in react it is similar to keys in react okay the main purpose of using so these are the main purpose of using reps okay so managing focus test selection media playback uh, the second is triggering imperative animations integrating with third party dom libraries okay so uh, we can discuss some example here okay so what happened like uh, i had one form okay so inside one form what we are doing is we are taking the values okay so we have uh, one field as employee id one another field as employee name okay so we are entering the value there as uh, something let's say id we have entered and name we have entered right so we are storing that as a ref okay so ref is equal to id and ref is equal to name now if you want to access okay what is your employee id and employee name okay then you can simply do this dot reps dot id dot value okay because if ref has this id so it is going to give you the id you have entered okay if you do this dot reps dot name dot value then it is going to give you the name that you have in, uh, entered inside a form okay so this is what like one of the huge case of uh, ref that i demonstrated there are multiple huge cases let's go to the next question it says what are control components okay so control components are those in which form state is handled by the component state okay? it takes it current value through props and make change through the callbacks like on click or on change so these are the two methods uh, okay callback methods you can say through which it is it is going to make a change okay a parent component manage its own state and passes the new value as props to the control component okay? let's go to the next question it says so you might be knowing right we use div inside a react js okay to like uh, render the component so you cannot have more than one div you can have uh, like more than one div inside a single div but you are going to return a single div okay so instead of div you can use uh, react dot fragment also so this is the feature provided by react so it is a common pattern in react for component to return multiple elements fragments let you group a list of children without adding extra nodes to the dom so it serves as a cleaner alternative to using unnecessary divs in your code so that is what i told so if you do not want to use unnecessary divs inside your code you can use this react dot fragment okay so on your left uh, this is one example with the help of div okay so these are the two h2 and p we are going to rendering with the help of div so instead of div you can use react dot fragment also so uh, these all these are all 10 questions guys i wanted to discuss with you okay so if you like the content please do subscribe the channel we are going to meet up in the next video so till then bye bye take care